Forgot to flip my books around. Dang it! Hey guys, it's Maddie, aka Freaking Bulldozer, and welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. So today, I am back with my TBR type game. I did one of these in February and had a lot of fun. Granted, I only read one book from that TBR, but we're gonna try and actually like do better this time. But honestly, it's like it's not like a prompt game. It's where it's just a game by choice, you know. But I have my Illumicrate book box cup, which is based on um, Children Blood and Bone. But I didn't like that book, so it's based not on that because I didn't like it. So I got a lot more prompts in here than I did last time. I'm super excited because um, in February. I only had January's, like, how many books I read in January to go off of, and now I have March, which I read four books in March, so I'm excited. So this is going to be my TBR for both May and June. Oh my god, you can hear the spit going through my bottom retainer. I just want to say that I have three fantasy books for this TBR, and I'm also reading, like, 600-page middle grades with my granny, so... Um, let's just tack on four other books to my TBR for May only. I I I I have way too much hope in myself. So let's just get started. So the first prompt. If you do not know what I'm doing, I basically have all these prompts in here that have like shelf numbers and then numbers on those shelves. And I gotta put whatever this thing says onto a random number generator. And then whenever that number gets out, I go through and count the books. And that's going to be the book on my TBR. So the first prompt is shelves one, two, or three, books number one to 23. So book. So shelf one is over here, you guys can't see it. And then I have shelves two, and I guess this is technically two, but there's only one book on there. But, okay, two and three. I don't have 23 books on all these shelves. But let's go for it. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have it right pulled up, and boop, 18. Even when there's a chance I'm going to get a book on the first shelf, I don't get it. Okay, so I got 18, but there's only 17 books that are flipped around on this shelf. I made these right after I filmed, like, a few weeks after I filmed the first random number generator. I created all these other prompts, so there's some books on here that I've read. But, yeah. So, the book I got first was The Trader's Blade, or just Trader's Blade, by Sebastian D. Cass. Castell, Castell. I saw this off of JD Way Reads, and first of all, the cover is just so beautiful in my opinion. And so I was like, yes, I'm gonna have to get it. And I just looked at it, and the chapters are not numbered. Why do you do this to me? But basically, I don't know what this book is about. But I like the cover, and J.D. Ray Reads really, really likes this book and this series, so I was like, okay, gotta get it, and so now it's the first book on my TBR. Time for another prompt! Okay, so the next one I got is Shelf 1, numbers 1 through 8. I'm going to have to bump that down to six now because uh, there was seven on there I hadn't read, I'm pretty sure. And this is one that got picked for the last prompt, so now we're down to six. All right, here we go. Ready, set, one. Ah, okay, all right. So the first book on that shelf is actually the sequel to so far my absolute favorite book of 2020, and that is The Lithiathan Prince by C.K. Miller. I gave the first book in the series a 5 out of 5 stars. I really, really loved it. And I'm scared to read this book because the plot, like the whole plot of this book, just scares me so, so much. But basically how the first one ended too... I am not okay, and I'm just really scared to read this book. Basically, this is about, the first book is about Kia, or Ketip, but her, her nickname is Kia. And she is being haunted by these nightmares, and she constantly wakes up from these nightmares with 
her nose bleeding, and then her eyes start to bleed, and then her ears start to bleed, and they all just keep piling up on top of each other because she's her because her family line is cursed. That's all I want to say about the first book. This one follows the events after the first book ended, like right after. Um, the little line at the top of the book says, Some say she's a hero. Others say she's a traitor. The truth is something else entirely. And this is basically, this right here is the love interest, and I am just, I'm so scared to read this book. I am absolutely mortified to read this book. I don't want to say what it's about, because it might spoil some stuff from the first book, but I am so scared. Now they're prompt. All right, so. Time for another prompt. Okay, shelves one or three, numbers one to 20. Let's get ready, two, one, two, generate. 13. That, my dear friends, is The Hunk, The Beloved Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. If you watch my uh, Leap Year book tag, which was actually a lot of fun and it got horrible views, but if you watch that, then you will know this is one of the books I wanted to read this year. But based on like everything that I already, like all the other books I really want to read this year, it just didn't seem like it was going to happen. But apparently it's going to. This is, like I think this book is about like a world where magic is like made from metal or metal is magic. I don't know. Once a hero, once a hero rose to save the world, he failed. For a thousand years since, the world has been a wasteland of ash and mist ruled by the immortal emperor known as the Lord Ruler. Every revolt has failed miserably. Yet, somehow, hope survives. Hope that dares to dream of ending the empire and defeating the Lord Ruler. A new kind of uprising is being planned. One that depends on the cunning of a brilliant criminal mastermind and the determination of an unlikely heroine. A teenage street urchin named Vin. Where a hero rose to save the world and failed, can a young heroine, a heroine succeed? This sounds super good and fun story. I actually ended up, I didn't, I was, I first started like watching booktube like when I was in sixth grade, like 2016 or something. I don't know. I got booktube videos from then, but I saw like this, it was a box set of this series on Halion Bookland actually, that's, I know exactly, and she had this box set and it was three books and it was like the, like England, like collector's editions where like all the spines were like white, like they're all white, like white science spines and you put them together like they're beautiful. I saw those and I was like, I want that on my shelf. Now obviously this is not the same edition as her book as I saw, but it sounds super good. I love reading about criminals. I have a weird obsession. Mom's kind of, my mom's kind of concerned about it, but like, don't be, okay? I just, I love criminals. Fictional. I love fictional criminals, but I'm excited for this one. And then the final prompt we're going to be doing, because I only want to have four books and I'll have to like stretch them across two months. Let's do another one. Okay. Age, my age, and up. So I'm 15 years old, and so there's 38 books, supposedly. We had this last time, too. I haven't counted since I read this. So my age, which is 15 to 38. All right. So here we go. Three, two, generate. No, generate. 17. One, two, three, 14. 15. So Mistborn was 15, so 16, and the next book on here is actually an ebook, and that is uh, In a Mirror. Whoop! In a Mirror by Emily Bourne. If you do not know who Emily Bourne is, she is an author tuber and a self published author. And she actually did the sale back in December where she like said, hey, 
my book's free. And uh, basically, I got a free copy of her book, and I really want to read it to support her. I know it's, it looks like it's a contemporary, and it is a contemporary, and I am not a contemporary person. But I do want to support her, and if I end up liking this, I am going to be doing a review on Goodreads and Amazon and all the places where I can review it because I really want to support self-published authors. They do a lot of work, and they really do support. They do, and they really do deserve your support and your love. And I'm super excited to read this book. I don't know what it's about, but I know it's about twins named Charlie. No, nope. well, that's her name, but it's not named Brittany and Charlie. Like Charlie and Brittany is not the order it's supposed to go, and that's why it sounded weird. But it's uh, the first book in a trilogy, and there, she's talking about a possible spin-off trilogy. Um, this is her debut, and I'm excited to read it. But she's also working on another series called the Happily Ever Win, the Happily After Win series, and that sounds like it's gonna be so much more up my alley than this. But I'm so excited to try this book, and um, I hope you guys stick around to hear my opinions on it. So my TBR for May and June is four books. I'm obviously going to hopefully be reading more than four books. It's really just going to depend. I'm supposed to be going on vacation at the end of June, but based on what's going around right now as of filming this, um, it might not be happening. But um, I'll still have like two weeks off of school to just read around the house, which will be fun. So we have... Traitor's Blade by Sebastian D. Castell, which is the only book I have know nothing about, but J.D. Ray, read, JD Ray Reads liked it. And then we have The Leviathan Prince by C.K. Miller, a sequel to, I'm really hoping this is good, but I'm also so scared to read it, not because I think it's not going to be as good as the first one, I'm scared to read it because of what's supposed to happen, like arranged marriages is all I want to say, and I'm not okay. Like, I got that book right after I read the first one, and I was like, yes, sweet, can't wait to read it, and then I read the back of it when I got here, and I was like, um, yeah, let's hold off. And then the next book I have is Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I think this is actually the book I'm most excited to read, just because it's been on my TBR forever, and I really want to see what all the hype is. It's a big book, and it's got small text, but... Hopefully it's good and I just get sucked into it right away. And the final book I got was In a Mirror by Emily Bourne. If you guys like this video and would like to see more, make sure you tell me by giving a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to my because I post videos every single Monday. And you can comment. If comments are turned on, feel free to comment anything you want to. I read every single comment and I will see you guys all next Monday for another video. Hey, don't forget I'm still a freaking bulldozer. Bye guys.